Hello everyone, welcome back to a new class. Today in this class we are going to discuss Advanced Mathematics class 9, exercise number 1.2, question number 4. Question number 4 says that put symbol greater than, less than, greater than, equal or less than in the middle box. That means we have some middle box, we have some boxes. So in these boxes we have to put either one either greater than or equal or less than so let us see question number a here x l one i x that means this x l makes 40 and this one will be 9 so it will be 49 here 49 given so it will be equal in the middle box we have to write here equal sign number b here is 8 and in the right side of box we have 12 so it will be less than number c cc that means 200 in the right side of box we have 200 so it will be equal sign number d xc this two makes 90 and 1x that means this two makes 9 so it will be 99 but in the right side of boxes we have 999 so it will be less than number e we have here uh, 690 that means 690 but in the right side of boxes we have this two make 600 l means 50 then 650 and 10 660 so this will be greater than sign number f you see here 1900 and the right side of boxes we have mcm xc that means mcm so these three digits makes 900 uh, 1900 and these two digits will make 90 so it will larger and this 9 1900 is smaller so here our symbol will be less than number g we have six zero zero one zero that means sixty thousand and ten here in the right side of boxes we have l x bar l x bar l x means sixty and bar means thousand times multiplication so it will be sixty thousand and ten so it will be sixty thousand and ten so our symbol will be here equal number a is h number you see m c d and in the right side of boxes we have 400 so mcd means what mcd means m means 1000 cd means 400 so it will be 1400 but in the right side of boxes we have 400 so in the box we have to plot here greater than symbol last one i number mcm in the right side of boxes we have cmm mcm that means it is 1900 but here it is also uh, 1900 so this one is 900 plus 1000 so our symbol will be here equal our next question is question number 5 in question number 5 says that write the sums in roman numerals that means we have to write these sums into Roman numerals. So first of all here uh, we convert these Roman numbers into decimal after then we add these numbers after then we have write in Roman numerals. Okay so number one Roman number one here you see this one is 12 plus this one is this three digits makes 19 plus these three digits means 70 because L means 50. So on after that we convert this number into Roman numerals. 100 means C and 1. 1. In Roman number 2 we have DCL plus CC plus XB11. So it will be D means our 500, C means 100 and L means 50. So these three digits will make 650 plus CC double C. C means 100. So double C will make 200 
plus this one will be 17. After then we convert this number into Roman numerals. So 967. So 900 means CM. That is 967. L means 50. F60. And we have left 7. In Roman numbers 3, you see here MC ML. M means 1000. C means 100 m means 1000 so these three digits will make uh, 1900 and this l means 50 so it will be 1950 plus m c m means th these two digits means 900 m that means it will be 1900 plus after then we have to convert this number into Roman numeral so 3000 means M uh, M M 3000 then 900 means SCM and 30 means triple X our next question is question number 6 in question number 6 we have give 5 rules for writing Roman numerals this already we have given in lecture number one already we have given six rules for writing roman numerals so you can see the lecture number one so next question is question number seven how many different roman digits are necessary to write any number less than 30 so here our answer will be we need We need only three digits. Digits are one, five, and eight. Our next question is question number eight. Here, write down the greatest and the least number by taking once the digits. That means we have to take the digits only one times, not more than one times. Zero. The digits are 0, 1, 5, 2, and 9. So here Roman number 1 says that Indo-Arabian system, the Indo-Arabian numerals, that means first we have to write in Indo-Arabian numerals, then Roman number 2, Roman numerals. So answer is Roman number 1. Here first we have to write Indo-Arabian numerals. So greatest number will be our 95,210. And the least number will be 10,000. 259 so in roman numerals greatest number will be x c v so these three will make 95 95 bar that means bar means 95 into 100 times c c x this double c means 200 and x means 10 so this will be our 95210 next List number is 10,259. 10 bar means 10,000. 200 means double C and 59. L means 50. And this is 9. Our next question is question number 9. Here fill in the gaps. That means we have to fill in the blanks. Roman number 1 says that total number of digits in Roman system. So total number of digits in Roman systems. What will be our answer? Digits are 1. 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, and 1000. So, total number of digits will be 7. Next, total number of digits in Indo-Arabian system. Total number of digits in Indo-Arabian system is 10. Digits are 0 to 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Number 3, total number of zeros in indo arabian system so number of zero is one next roman number four the number of units in indo arabian system number of units is ten 